Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks, and in today's lesson, I'm going to respond to one of my clients who wrote to say, Danny, I'm working with the pivot table, and I'm having some difficulty. I'm forced to work with an employee ID rather than the full name, and I, I, I'm just getting twisted up in knots. Can you help me? Well, I certainly can. Now, here's what I imagine that my client is working with. Over here in column A, we have numeric values. Those are the employee IDs. Now, we can tell that they're numeric values because they align to the right side of the cell. All numbers in Excel by default align to the right side of the cell. So over here, the evaluation scores are numeric values. They align to the right side of the cell. Every other field contains a text label which aligns to the left side of the field. All right, so let's create the pivot table. With one cell selected, insert tab on the ribbon, pivot table, and let's create the pivot table alongside the existing data in this worksheet. So make sure that you at least have one blank column to separate the pivot table from the data set. Click OK. All right, now notice that by default, beginning with Excel 2007, when we click a field that contains numeric values, it gets automatically in added into the values area, and by default, the sum function is used to subtotal it. Well, that's what was giving my client difficulty. So let's remove it. And in this case, what we want to do with the employee ID is we want to drag it and place it into the row labels. And since we're going to leave this in place, let's change the label from row labels to employee ID. All right, so now we have all of the unique values for the employee IDs. Notice that we're evaluating skill sets. Now, skill contains text. So if I click skill, by default, it gets automatically added into the row labels. Now, the default setting beginning with Excel 2007 is this compact view, which I really, really don't like. So I'm going to come over here into the design uh, tools for pivot table, and I'm going to change the report layout not from the compact view, but rather into a tabular view. So now I have two distinct fields, which is what I want. Now, the evaluation field, remember, contains numeric values. So if I click on it, it's going to be automatically added in to the values area, and it's going to use by default the sum function to subtotal it. Well, I'm really interested in having an average and not the sum. Several ways to make the change. One is to select a single value in that field, right mouse click, and come down into Value Field Settings. What I want to do is I want to change the way that it's summarized. Use the average function rather than the sum function. And let's change the name rather than average of evaluation. Average will be just fine. And let's change the numeric value uh, format into a number with one decimal place. Click OK and click OK to close the dialog box. So now we have the average by each of the skills. You know, one of the beauties of pivot tables is that you don't have to use every field. So I'm really not so interested in the department in this evaluation, but I would like to have the gender. Now again, remember that gender contains text, so if I click it, it's going to automatically be nested in as the third row label. So if I want to have it going across as a column label, I just drag it into that area. Anytime that I don't have it in the right place, I can use the drop-down uh, shortcut menu to move it to the row labels or move it somewhere else, perhaps into the report filter. And now that I look at this, I really want to see the difference between male and female. I want to see the differences in gender with the average evaluation score. Now, I'm really not so interested in the skill uh, level, so I have several ways to change this. One is to click on the label for this field, and then right mouse click, and what I can do is I can, with the expand and collapse, say collapse the entire field. Another way to do that would be to simply uncheck it and take it off of the pivot table. So let's do that. So now I have pretty close to what I'm looking for. 
The key here was, remember that the employee ID is a numeric value. So if you just check it, it's going to be put into the values uh, field, and it's going to be a summation. So in this case, what I did is I dragged it and placed it into the row labels. And then I changed the way that we summarize the pivot table. I changed it from the sum function into the average function by using the value field settings. Just select a single cell in there, choose the value field settings. I changed it to averaged, changed the uh, name of it or the label, and I changed the numeric format to a number with one decimal place. So there's a quick way to work with numeric values in a pivot table. Now, I covered this topic as well as many more in my 90-minute focused uh, video tutorial resource on pivot tables. You can order it as a downloadable or as a DVD-ROM that I ship to you. And I'll look for you in the next Tips and Time Savers.